When you first log into Ventrack, you will see your dashboard screen. To get started, the first things you want to enter are products and locations. Let's enter a few products real quick. You can see we've already entered a few, M&M peanuts, M&Ms, and Skittles. Let's add another one for our bulk routes. Let's call this peanuts. This is a bulk type of product. And then you click add product and it shows over here in your list. Now we want to add locations. Let's add a location called local pizza place. Once you add it, you'll go to the screen where you can enter more information. Your POC or the point of contact is John. And then you can put in the address and we can put in the city, the state, the zip code, and a county, and any other information that you may want to enter. We'll say this was placed on the 1st of January in 2010. It's a bulk machine that has three products. Since we're charity vending, we don't use any commissions and we don't pay any taxes. But we want to make sure we know to service this machine every 21 days. And now let's click Save Changes. As you can see, once we do that, at the bottom, it gives us a place to put in the types of products. We're going to offer M&M peanuts, M&Ms, and Skittles. And save that. Now over here, we have some places to keep some custom fields. We want to keep the serial number for this machine, 12345678, and also which key to use when we go and service it. You can also add additional custom fields. Say we want to add a new custom field to store the hours of operation. Instead of naming that custom 3, we go to the rename custom fields. We would call that hours of operation. Then we save those changes. We go back to our locations. We choose local pizza place, which we just entered. And now we can say this is from Monday through Friday, 12 to 8. We didn't save earlier, so let's save those serial numbers and key number entries now. Update this record. And now your location is saved in Ventrack. You can sh see that it shows up on the locations list. You can also enter services by clicking on the dollar sign. This will let you add amount collected and the types of products that were replaced when you did your service. If this has already been in place for a while and you want to hit enter some historical records, just click on multiple collections. This way we can enter information for the local pizza place and it's serviced by Robert Smith in this case. We have a service that was done on January 3rd. First, we'll say we $34. We'll say we've got one for February 2nd, $45, and one for March 1st, and $50. Let me scroll to the bottom, save those services, and they're done. Now let's go back and look at locations, and let's pull up the service screen for local pizza place. As you can see, we now have a location entered with historical records on how much we've serviced and when we serviced it. Also you'll notice when you look at the dashboard screen we have one service due. The last time we serviced this in Ventrac was March the 1st and it's now September. So now it tells us services due the local pizza place. Now just do this for each one of your locations and you are well on your way to using Ventrac to manage your business more efficiently.